Hey guys, thanks for clicking in. Uh, last week I did a little thing on what's called a connection ball. Uh, and I put it, this is a nine inch connection ball. I had a smaller one that was like a six inch that you put underneath your arm for pictures. But some of you guys said that they use connection balls and hidden and you do. One of the best things that I like to use a connection ball when I'm teaching hitting is on how to take the hands back. Let me grab a bat just to show you guys. Matter of fact, this bat was one I threw against Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, broke his bat. You see where it says Cal Jr. on this. Broke his bat with a four-seam fastball. So we'll use this one. This is a good example. Couldn't think of a better hitter. One of the things a lot of kids will do when they're up here and I work on how to take their hands back, what they do is they like to take it, they wrap it around here. It's called bat wrap, where they come here and they wrap the bat around and pull their hands really far behind the back or they'll turn this way. What I do with the connection ball is you put the connection ball front arm, have it under the front arm. Here's the thing, when they go to take their hands back, the connection ball keeps them connected, but it also allows them to take that ball straight back. So what they want to do is they want to feel a roll in this ball when they're here like this, straight back. And because the ball is here, it's really hard to take my hands behind me because the ball keeps me from taking it behind. But it does allow to bring me with my hands coming straight back like this. So you'll see the roll, roll, roll. Tell them to roll the ball back. Great exercise for the upper body, at least to control the hands during the stride phase to get into that launch phase. Hope it helps out, guys. Connection balls, nine inch. You can find them on the internet. Nuke out.